Do you wear Garmin Forerunner 245 smartwatch? If yes, then I'm sure by now you must have tried every feature of the watch and had a great experience doing so. But there is one thing you might not have tried yet, that is testing its water-resistant capabilities. I mean, we all think about it, but most users are afraid that water testing will damage the watch. And that's what I'll be doing today with my Garmin 245M smartwatch. If this is your first time on our channel, then I would recommend subscribing as I make various videos on Garmin smartwatches. Our most recent video is a Garmin 245 SpO2 test in which we tested the accuracy of the watch's blood oxygen sensor. Do check it out using the I button on the right-hand side of the watch. Before proceeding any further, I would request you to subscribe to our channel, Wearholic, and press the bell icon so you will never miss any updates on wearable tech. Garmin claims that Forerunner 245 is able to survive water activity up to 5 ATMs, which means 50 meters in depth, for 10 minutes. Like me, I'm sure you want to find out if the claims made by Garmin are true or not. Today, I am going to do three water tests on Garmin Forerunner 245. These tests are the hand washing test, submerging the watch in glass, and bowl test for five minutes. First of all, let's start with the hand washing test. You can see that I am wearing Garmin Forerunner on my wrist and washing my hands for a few seconds. After that, we will check whether the watch is working or not. And yes, it is working absolutely fine. You can see that buttons are also working normally. Next, I will be doing a water submerge test. To do that now, I will be placing the watch in the glass filled with water. We will wait for five minutes to find out the result. It's been almost five minutes since the watch is placed in the water. Let's check. Is it still working? And yes, it is still in working condition and there aren't any issues with the watch. Considering the watch has passed previous tests, I am expecting that it will survive the bull test as well. Let's find out whether I'm right or wrong. You can see this bowl is completely filled with water and I'm going to place my Garmin watch in it. It's done, and now we will wait five minutes again. The time is... The time has elapsed, and it is time for the moment of truth. Let's check the condition of the watch. And again, the Garmin 245 watch has met all of our expectations. After performing these three water tests, I can say without a doubt, swimming and showering won't be an issue for the watch. So this is a really well-made watch that not only delivers in features, but also in the durability department. 
I keep on making water test videos like these on our channel, Wearholic, as I did with a $40 retro smartwatch from Amazfit. You can check it out and see whether or not it survives the brutal bucket water test. You can find the link for the same in the description box below. If you are a Garmin Forerunner 245 user, then I will be uploading a step counter test video soon, assessing the step count accuracy of the watch. So do subscribe to remain updated when the video comes out. Also, consider liking this video if you find it helpful. It really motivates us to bring more informational videos like these.